what is going on YouTube? This is Acid Roots. So I'm going to review the third album by country singer Taylor Swift. Basically, this project is called Speak Now, and it came out in the fall of 2010. So the thing about this particular project is this project was a huge deal throughout the early 2010s as far as that pitch can happen. It went six tons platinum, which is a pretty big, definitely pretty big concept, especially for the 2010s when not a ton of albums went multi-platinum and pitches like that. But this is an album that sold over a million copies in the first week as far as that particular going to happen. This is definitely one of the ones that helped signify Taylor Swift being in like the mainstream spotlight and getting her to like household name type of feel. Now she had some of that with her 2006 and 2008 albums. Her 2008 album, Fearless, was one of the highest selling albums of 2009. That was another multi-platinum type one. Is pretty much one of the ones that got her as like a staple of country music. This basically solidifies that. I would definitely say it's like a rave and classic album within a certain pitch. Now, if you're not more tied down and more homely bound in pitches like that, it's kind of more, it's more homely and localized, I'd have to say, in particular this album. I'm going to give this a higher score than the actual concept as to how full-blown I would listen to it just within the concept of not being quite as just not being quite as homely. I'd have to say this is a classic album I would definitely feel like, but it's often late. The thing about this particular album is there's just not a ton of turn-up songs on here. It does have some, this particular album near the end of it has some real smoking kind of folk type of feel that just really has some of that affability just in like an autumn sense. And it's like a perfect autumn album. I would definitely have to say it's just some country this is some great country autumn music that has a lot of pizzazz about it within that sense but i will have to say that this doesn't have like the turn up of like compared to albums like red or 1989 especially or even reputation some of those type ones it has it does have the appeal and like i said it is a classic it's just kind of the concept it's just a lot more homely localized and just localized within the country and rural type sense but just the concept it just is not really that outgoing and pitches like that not to say that it's insight it's so it's a social album but just the pet behind it when you think of it feels very manila and kind of like vanilla wafer-esque as far as that pitch can happen it's not to say that it's like weak or anything like that it's just kind of the concept that it's just not like it just feels more, feels more insular and pitches like that but it is a good concept just the concept taylor swift was it's interesting seeing taylor swift's early days as far as that pitch kind of happens just because i'm more used to like the taylor swift that just a more affable and kind of more rambunctious sense from like her red 1989 reputation and lover days as far as those pitches kind of happen but this is some early concepts i realized that probably her taylor swift from 2006 and fearless sounds were probably like this as well but i would have to say this does have a decent amount of pep and this is like i was saying some great autumn type music in like a folk kind of sense I do like the second half of this particular album that just has a lot more glaze type of feel and pitches like that, I would have to say. But it's just kind of a concept of just being homebound, kind of relationship bound pitches like that. Just a little bit more folksy hangout type fare as far as that particular kind of happens, but it is a good concept. So there were six singles out this particular album, which is a good enough pitch, just a good concept of how widespread that this particular album was. It was a big deal throughout 2011. The world tour lasted till almost about 2012 or some pitches like that, or basically into 2012, I'd have to say. So this album was promoted for a good while and a lot of good after affirmation now i look after it i don't know what this particular album scored in terms of critic type of appeal but i would definitely say this is definitely one of this might be one of taylor swift's best now i realized i said that about red last year and i kind of felt like i do think this is like i also enjoyed 1989 quite a bit but i feel like they're just two different albums 1989 is definitely a lot more pop oriented and a little bit more rambunctious i would have to say but this particular one really speak now is a lot more sultry and a lot more romantically starry-eyed as far as that pitch can happens but it is a good concert it's definitely good this is definitely good boo and bay type music just to kind of have within a sense of this kind of this kind of vanilla country as far as that pitch can happens with it so we'll go ahead and talk about the singles here so the first single is mine this is one of the singles that has the most pep about it so that should tell you something not to say I mean, this one, this one I would probably say in about, in terms of energy compared to Taylor Swift's later songs, probably has like a five or six out of 10 in terms of like this overall strut and this overall like ravenousness. But I would have to say it's a good, nice one to kind of get here. Just some good basic autumn pep type stroll. Some good kind of autumn bounce. It's like an outback kind of autumn pep. I would definitely have to say it's like a basic stroll and kind of day activity type pharaoh. It has to suppose in particular. Great lead single to kind of get here. This song has some rural flavor and it's a good radio snap about this particular one. And this is like some vintage Taylor Swift, I would have to say. So it's a good concept, a good kickoff. This one reminds me of like the lead single from Red, I would have to say. I don't know. Uh, it might be I Knew You Were Trouble, but then that one is a little bit more pop. I forget the lead single. I'll probably put it in the connotation here as far as that pitch kind of goes. But like the lead single, the, the the first single that you heard off of Red as far as that pitch kind of went, one of which was I Knew You Were Trouble, and then there was another one, some of those type ones. But just being able to say it reminds me of that particular one, the lead single off of Red. Nice affable and basic appeal about this particular song. Just a good kickoff to the album as far as that pitch kind of happens. But this is like the most... 
this one's definitely the most ravenous in terms of the singles with the exception of story of us which just doesn't have the same snap towards it but we'll get to that i do recommend all of the singles minus main i would have to say that's the only real one i don't back to december is the second single this is a nice one this is like a sunset gazing kind of rosy more homely kind of countryside radio taste i would have to say in particular this is just like an affable kind of down tempo airplay of a song i'd have to say so the concept about this particular one is just kind of the if you like the relative kickback appeal of mine with that relative kind of autumn pep of like some radio kind of airplay i feel like this one back to december is just a lot more of like a mellow and just kind of softer tone type one it's just a more lambent and more homely type bound of that one in particular it's a countryside ballad that works pretty well it's just the concept that's interesting that taylor swift pulled this off in the second single because for the most part when the for the most part when the tempo gets slow to kind of detracts from like the chart appeal as far as that pitch can happen. but this is a nice one this works in like a countryside type sense i mean it's it's uh it's definitely a more homely and laid back type one not as sharp and like energy i'd have to say but doesn't do it in like such a foul way to the point where it just doesn't have the energy cranked out behind it's just a, it's a good has some compatible appeal of like a country ballad i'd have to say in particular pretty nice one this is kind of what i talk about with this particular album just the affability behind it where this album is going to get i'll go ahead and say this album's going to get a 10 out of 10 because out of 14 songs on the standard edition i wound up recommending 12 which is a pretty good pitch for that but it's just the concept that a lot of this in terms of like the taylor swift that i know from 1989 and pitches like that i mean this is some good concepts but when you're not kind of in a more homebound type tone these are good songs this is kind of the concept that if you're looking for like friday night type weekend pound some shots and pitches like that get some smoke edge go out and have talk about some of those type moments just the affability behind house party and gigs and pitches like that standard turn up and this overall craziness it, do it doesn't really have that aspect but i feel like I'm not going to rank this album in a foul sense just because it doesn't have, you know, relatively any. I mean, the songs are enjoyable, but it's just a different mood set. It's just kind of the concept of having like a girlfriend that's a homebody compared to the concept of having like a girlfriend that's like a homebody compared to like normal fare of just like weekend turn up someone that you'd meet at a club and pitches like that. This kind of the concept is just some have that balance, but... <clears throat> So Mean is the third single. Didn't really like the composition of this particular one. Kind of didn't really like the production fare of that particular one. That one was a really country bound type one. Just didn't really like the, just the overall song composition of Mean was just not there and quite as delivered upon as far as that pitch can happen. Just, it's just not one I connected. It's, it's not one I connected with as much or could see myself listening to that commonly, I'd have to say. One of the few duds on here, like I was saying, the sound's going to get a classic score within that pitch. The Story of Us is the fourth single. This is a pretty nice one. It's like a peppy kind of outback errands and relative of day dredge i'd have to say in particular there's like some good commotion it's like some good day dredge commotion i'd have to say in particular it's like a stock single i would have to say and this just has some makeshift kind of appeal this one's just kind of there's some ones on this particular album just for out and about just kind of get some stuff done pitches like that it's not the same not quite as rosy but just the concept of being out and about and just pitches like that this would have to say in like this day errands out and about in like a romantic country type sense i'd have to say it's good enough concept to kind of get that relative makeshift type song good airplay type one to kind of get this is another one that charted pretty high i mean most of the singles off this i want to say all the singles off this particular album are at least top 20 singles on like the billboard 100 so they are all so they were all pretty big deal as far as the pitch can happen but this is just kind of a busier type one it kind of goes hand in hand with like the story of us kind of goes hand in hand with haunted i would have to say just not quite as ghastly a song it's an interesting pitch that haunted kind of had that tone but both of which are kind of more busy kind of bustling type ones just kind of have for just like more stuff to kind of get done as far as that would kind of happen but it is a pretty nice one this one's not quite as countryside gazing and kickback but i would have to say it does have some of that appeal just the bustle behind it just some stuff to do sparks fly is the fifth single i'd have to say it's another countryside type one this one kind of has like the relative lambentness of back to december with a little bit of like that kind of of autumn brush of mine i'd have to say this this one's a little bit more summer fried i'd have to say but it's just more of like sunset gazing pitches like that sparks fly is like a glaze kind of summer stretcher i would have to say it's like some good evening gauze i would definitely feel like this is like a basic kind of sunset music i would have to suppose in particular this is like some vanilla kind of country airplay of a hit i'd have to suppose so it's a pretty nice one more kind of stock type fanfare just another stock type taylor swift hit to kind of get here i do like the snap a little bit better of mine i kind of feel like the the, the lead single is probably the strongest one in terms of the composition behind it. i feel like back to december is a good ballad within that sense a little, a little bit more of like a rosy kind of laid back type one story of us is like a bustling type one and this one's just kind of like a more summer stretcher i mean it's good because this is like the fifth single kind of had the appeal behind it as far as just being out and about kind of being more out in the countryside 
another good one to kind of hang out with good concept for that sparse fly is another good countryside type hangout type one to kind of get just some good summer activity especially in the evening sense and then ours is the sixth single this is a pretty nice one this one's kind of on the deluxe edition which i don't recommend is full blown but this the thing about the deluxe edition is this is the only way you can get the song hours which is pretty much the only song i recommend off the deluxe edition so the thing about the deluxe edition there's 20 songs on this particular album on the deluxe there's 14 on the regular but out of the 20 songs i really only wound up recommending one on the deluxe edition so that's the concept basically the only song i recommend on the deluxe with those six extra songs is just hours but i mean i feel like this is a good song but if you do but really this Ours is the only real perk to like the deluxe edition, but it is a nice one. So it's like a springtime kind of pep of a song, some hop and bop kind of picnic and balmy romantic flavor. I'd have to say about this particular one. This one's very homely and like some vanilla. This is a very homely and vanilla acoustic folk of a song. I'd have to say in particular, just a good concept for that. Just really like the appeal behind it. The homely type flavor of this particular song is just interesting just because the pitch behind it. This is definitely like some picnic type music, easy kind of bay type music just for a sim simple kind of date afternoon and brunch type fare in terms of kickback as far as that particular kind of happens just kind of sundress type music for women as far as that pitch kind of happens bonnet type music some of that type fare just seems so within that relative pitch of just basic kind of picnic lemonade pitches like that as far as that would kind of happen a real good pep about that particular type pitch but it is a nice one but yeah like i said this album does have the appeal behind it but it's just the concept that despite the fact that i'm giving this album a higher score than i gave red last year and i gave 1989 back in january i would still have to say that both those albums have a little bit more kind of mainstream type snap about them just within the concept of just not being quite as insular i would have to say not and i don't mean insular in terms of dislike selfish or something like that but just the concept of just more kind of social just with the aspect of just kind of more riveting type music i'd have to say it's just it's very like it's very like this i'd have to say this kind of the concept of how that kind of particularly goes but i just look after it it is good i mean this music it has that relative appeal this as far as that kind of happens it's not like um, it's, you know i'm not going to track it's like so this album's going to get a 10 out of 10 it's just the concept that if you are looking for like a song like um it's a song by taylor swift like shake it off or like song like shake it off or i knew you were trouble some of those type ones or like some of the songs off of reputation definitely some of those type pitches like look what you made me do some look what you made me do some of those type ones that i'd say it's just a good concept but yeah basically like i was saying i recommend every song on the standard edition minus never grow up and me minus never grow up and mean i would have to say but then but then that but then the version of the album that ends with like song 20 the mind pop mix i would have to say the only song i recommend from songs 15 to 20 would just be the bonus single that is added to the deluxe edition hour so every other songs if this was a movie superman back to december haunted in mind the december acoustic haunted acoustic in mind don't recommend those ones so yeah, basically, I'm going to score this album me recommending 12 out of 14 on the standard edition. I'm going to give this album a 10 out of 10. The the deluxe edition, though, me recommending 13 out of 20. I'm going to go ahead and give that version of the album like a 7.25 out of 10. It's kind of constant. I mean, 13 out of 20 is decent, but it's quite a bit that's just lacking on that particular project. But I'll go ahead and talk about, I'm going to recommend some of these songs I do recommend on here, and then we'll get to some of the complaints about it. But yeah, this is a classic for Taylor Swift. This is a real compact type one. It's real homebound type stuff that just flips the script and is able to do it just with more insular type in mind. But Innocence, a pretty nice one. Most of the second half I enjoyed quite a bit. Just these hazier type ones and more kind of after hours type effect. Just the gauze of some of those type ones that I'd say. But Innocence, a nice one. It's like a hazy kind of late hours gem, I would have to say. This is like a smoky kind of folk type tune, I would feel like. And this is just like a brooding kind of smoke one type tune. I would definitely say definitely spark up a swish or something like that within that relative pitch. It's like some after moments of turn up after a night of just having like a great time as far as pitches like that. It's kind of the after effect of this. Getting home from the bar pitches like that. Some of those type fairs are just night activity, karaoke bars, sports bars. Some of those type places, just night activity. I'd say this the the after effects, the after hours hangout. I'd have to say in particular on this song, this glisten. So it's a pretty nice one. Really appreciate the production fair on this particular one. Just the overall composition of this particular song was just a real nice one to kind of get another one like that. That's pretty awesome. It's enchanted. This is the most popular song off this album according to Spotify. Surprisingly, has over 800 million plays concept about it that's more than any of the singles like the second popular the second most popular song would be back to december which is interesting but 
This is the most popular song according to Spotify and Chan. This is a nice one. It's like a contemporary kind of folk tune with like some smoky commercial feels about it, I have to say in particular. The song has a great bridge. Definitely appreciated that on there. Taylor Swift has some great melodies on this particular song. And it's like an evening kind of social highlight. So some of these type ones, this is kind of after effect of this late night, after hours type hangout as far as that pitch kind of happens. A little bit more, not as much like day activity and just more out and about like most of the singles are within that relative pitch. But I do like some of this. I like this kind of more gauzy type feel like the second half the album songs like enchanted innocent better than revenge haunted last kiss and long live all particularly have that appeal so last kiss is a pretty nice one it's like a hazy kind of countryside kickback of a song i've had to say in particular it's like an enjoyable kind of marinating of a song i would definitely feel like and it's just like some mellow evening ambience i would have to suppose not quite as much after hours it's like innocent and enchanted but i do like the appeal behind it and this is like a good song to shoot the moon this countryside this after date type appeal this after hours conversation as far as that pitch kind of happens with some good concepts typical kind of country type fair just in that standard evening haze but it is a good concept Good pitch behind it. Long Live is a pretty nice one as well. It's like a simmering and kind of golden rural. Long Live is like a simmering and kind of golden rural relative pep, I would have to say about this particular song. It goes well with mine and speak now. I would definitely feel like the title track. This is just some evening dredge, I'd have to say. It's a good concept. So definitely, this one's a little bit more beleaguered. I'd have to say a little bit more taken aback, but I do like the concept of this in particular. It just has some good appeal about some of these. I really feel I do like some of these kind of more brushy kind of country pep type ones that feel like they could be having i feel like they could have some radio snap so yeah when i said that the social score may not have gotten as high it's kind of here and there i kind of feel like some of these songs just kind of have that in particular but there's really not any dance songs i do feel like taylor Swift probably could use like a dance song on this particular one for the most part it's social but it's not like bustling kind of ravenous social this is kind of the concept it's more chill which is interesting you look after it taylor Swift kind of got some of those moments more starting with red i'd have to say but it is a concept that this is more social than i was thinking but we'll see about I'm going to give it so but speak now the title track is definitely like a good pairing with like mine i would have to say in particular it's like some folksy kind of pep and getting ready to fraternize type songs i would have to say speak now is like some folksy pep and getting ready to fraternize type tune i would have to say in particular it's like some regular day fair i would have to say in some regular day fair makeshift so it's a good concept for that in particular just the pitch behind it this is pretty much like some good snap just with an aft billy behind it just standard day malaise as far as that pitch kind of happens there's some good late summer and early autumn pep i would have to say in particular it's a good enough concept to kind of get some of that day fair makeshift it's a good relative pitch behind that if you do like the song mine which is definitely one of the best songs on this particular product in terms of like radio snap and overall aft ability and like the most social kind of joviality behind it i'd say this is a pretty nice one mine speak now long live some of those type pitches this would have to work pretty well for that yeah there's some good appeal about this particular project dear john is a nice one this is a more brooding type one but this is basically like a moody and brooding kind of folk hit i would have to say in particular it's like a smoky kind of evening hazer i'd have to say and it's like some simmering kind of residential kind of unsettled wind down i'd have to say this is just kind of more talk and chat type music one this is kind of more talk and chat type music with bass kind of a little bit more unsettled pitches like that it's the concept of this like the standard you know needing standard needing to have a talk type of feel as far as that pitch can goes i just look after it i mean this song has the relative appeal about it but it's just kind of the concept it's a lengthy type song it's just kind of the pitch that is just a little bit more brooding type one not as often to be it's just kind of more brooding and contemplative type one not to be as commonly listened to if you don't have like more kind of unsettledness on your mind as far as that pitch can happen it's just kind of one that's a little bit more if you're just in a more frivolous type mood or just kind of more face value type mode it just doesn't have as much appeal at that same particular but it's just the concept that it is it's a nice song has that brooding type of feel it's a good song to kind of have the after effects of just hang out type fair in like a sultry type sense but it's just kind of the concept that it is kind of a brooding type one which is dope a surprising hit on this particular album is better than revenge i'd have to say this is one of the few just complete turn up type songs that had same particular it's like a riveting kind of bar hopping night venue noise of a song i had the same particular this one reminds this one in particular reminds me of pink and kelly clarkson i would definitely have to say and this is like a frivolous kind of night i would have supposed so this one this is the one that has the most drinks in your system i'd have to say just a bar hopping type one just to have like some craze friday nights saturday nights as far as that fish can happen so this one breaks away from the work shift and makeshift i'd have to say in particular it's probably the most ravenous type one but this is kind of the concept that it does kind of have regret about doing it as far as that fish kind of happens just within the song's lyrics i'd have to say so it's just a concept of that but it is good for some turn up within a relative sense if you're just looking for like a 
just get turned up type one just within the frivolity of it and then haunted is a pretty nice one it's like a bustling kind of country out and about type two and i'd have in particular and some country out and about kind of ruminating that has suppose it's like a get tasks done and kind of has a touch of grim about it i have say real ghastly type one within a relative sense at least within some country pops at least within some country pop type senses i'd have to say and it's like some good autumn brush i'd have to say so i do appreciate this one i would have liked more songs like this from taylor swift off this particular album like i said this is a great taste of country songs autumn gate this is a great sense of countryside autumn on this particular album it has some of this but most of these moments even despite it being on a 14 or 20 song album does not full blown convey that it's full blown it's a concept to kind of get a lot of this on here but i do feel like there's some moments on here i would have liked another song like innocent i would have liked another song like better than revenge i would have liked another song like enchanted I would have liked another song like Haunted, some of these type moments. I do feel like there are some moments on here, but then I guess really back to December didn't really have a clone of that particular song. I think the closest thing to that was probably Sparks Fly. I'd have to say in particular. So it felt like a lot of times there was just one variation of a particular song with the exception of mine, which did have a couple clones on there. But for the most part, you get a new taste of a lot of things on here, which is too bad because there are some moments that are just really thrilling as far as that pitch happens. But it just leads to say that Taylor Swift had a lot of ideas that really work. So it has some great songwriting. It's varietized, really has that appeal it's pretty vibrant type album just to get it's a real colorful and it's a real colorful and just sheer type album that has a lot of quality about it so that's the concept as far as that particular kind of happens i think i talked about every song on here so as far as that pitch can go so talk about some of these songs i didn't recommend basically just never grew up just didn't really like the composition of that one either it was just kind of one just about like folks that were growing up too quickly as far as that particular pitch kind of happens it's kind of one i mean it felt like a necessary song was just one i didn't see the necessity to listen to Main was kind of, like I talked about, I didn't really enjoy the composition of that one, just didn't really, I mean, the lyric value of that particular one is just dealing with bickering as far as that pitch kind of happens and just being treated badly, and just rude, rude relationship as far as that particular pitch kind of goes, didn't, didn't really have affable song enjoyment about that one. But some of these other songs on here on the deluxe edition, like If This Was a Movie was another bustling type one, pretty similar to like Long Live. If This Was a Movie is pretty similar in composition to The Story of Us and Haunted, but this didn't have the same appeal of those particular ones as far as that particular kind of went. This didn't jump off the page in the same sort of aspect that I had to say. I kind of felt like the deluxe edition was just kind of haphazard as far as that pitch kind of happened. Just didn't really have the same kind of appeal of most of this superman was just kind of one i didn't connect with as much it was just kind of one probably with more of the ladies in mind as far as that pitch can have them just kind of felt strange being if you're the boyfriend in that sort of scenario listening to that one kind of feels a little bit almost pretentious i'd have to say i look after it's just the concept behind it i look after it just being able to say some of these other type ones the acoustic songs don't really contribute to much Haunted Acoustic was at least trying to have like a haunting kind of piano type beat on there, but it just didn't really keep up the flavor of that in like the second verse and later on. So I just feel like the original Haunted is just better. Back to December felt like the same. Back to December didn't really add too much in that particular appeal. And then the Mime Pop Mix was just a more kind of radio serialized type version of like mine. But I, I like the country version of it. I think the original mine is just as good as far as that pitch can go. So it didn't really have that much composition. So yeah, I look after it. So the the deluxe edition gets a 7.25 out of 10 me re me recommending 13 out of 20 and the the standard edition gets a 10 out of 10 me recommending 12 out of 14 so that's a pretty good concept the social score that's kind of tricky i think i'm going to give the social score i think i'll give the social score like an eight and a half out of ten because i feel like that's pretty good there's a number of songs on here especially the second half of the album songs like innocent enchanted last kiss long live haunted some of those type ones speak now is pretty social mine is pretty social back to december is pretty social and like a ballad type sense some of those type pitches sparks is why it's pretty social and like a ballad type sense i feel like aspect behind it i definitely feel like this album needed more moments like enchanted and better than revenge those are two of the absolute complete crown pitched best moments on this particular project but i look after the six singles are pretty good you just get a different taste of things within the aspect of a different moods for different modes as far as that pitch can happen you know you get the air and running of story of us Haunted's kind of like that. Mine is like some country, typical kind of radio snap, like the autumn sense. About back to December's more like sunset gazing, just more romantic sense, I would have to say. Ours is a more springtime type, picnic type music. So it's just a good concept to get some of these in particular. It's just the concept that in terms of like an anchor kind of hit, I feel like some of the biggest moments on here would probably be Enchanted, Mine, 
and then for the taste of like the ballad type of peel back to December and some of those type ones. But it's just kind of the concept. It's good stuff on here and it does have some of that social feel, but it's just in a more kind of simmering type aspect of that essay. Just the ferocity is just is not as aggressive as what probably could have happened on later Taylor Swift projects that I'd say. It's not to say it's bad. It's just kind of the concept. It's just a little, it's just more soft core as far as that pitch can happen. So I like the concept. It's just, it's interesting. It's, good. it's an interesting album. I definitely say this is one of Taylor Swift's best. I would definitely have to say it's just not a ferocious kind of feral type one. It's just, that's the thing about it. But I do look after this. A lot of enjoyment here, especially the second half of the album. Once the autumn haze and gauze starts to kick in, I'd have to suppose. But yeah, just a lot of good songs, six singles, pitches like that. So in terms of the future, in terms of the future, like Taylor Swift put out a double album in April 2024, which is a pretty good pitch. We'll have to get to some more of these as far as that particular kind of happens. So I've got some more Taylor Swift in mind down the road as far as that particular kind of happens. So I'm starting to catch up with all the stuff she's done. She really hasn't put out that many projects. I mean, she has now, she has more nowadays, but just looking after the after effects of Taylor Swift albums that I remember from back in my lower days, as far as that pitch can happen, so there's not as many left. There's Taylor Swift from 2006 and 2008, and then there's Lover from 2019. And then I basically caught up with basically this decade, as far as that pitch can happen. So we'll have to get to some of these, as far as that pitch can happen. So we'll definitely get to some more. But this is a classic here, definitely a rural and country classic, just within that pitch. Autumn highlight is some great autumn activity and this out and about within that relative pitch. This is a pretty stellar and just overall profound, profuse type album. It's definitely worth it, just despite the fact that even if the, the energy off this album is more manila, I would have to say it's still a great concept to fuck with this for ha having some great autumn activity in the countryside.